What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow. Welcome to some Farming Simulator 19 here on the PC, of course. Welcome to the farms of Madison County. That is Madison County, Illinois. Those of you that may know where Madison County is, it is, like, you know, directly across the river from St. Louis. And uh, those of you that know, which is most of you, I have crumbs on my mouse pad. Hang on. Uh, most of you know this. I live in the St. Louis area. I could be in Madison County in less than half an hour. And I have actually looked up on Google Earth Maps, whatever, where this farm is or where this is located. I could be there in about 35, 40 minutes. So, in a weird way, I feel like I have to play this map. <laughs> and that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. But... I'm asking you guys the question. I'm going to I'm going to start playing this map, but I'm going to ask you guys the question. Do you want to see this as a let's play or not? The Farms of Madison County, it is a 4X map. It was developed by a guy I really should know his name, but I don't. He grew up in the area of Madison County, Illinois, which is pretty awesome. I'm not going to even the little latch latchery do works. The little latchery do works. Wow. So, he grew up in Madison County, Illinois, which, like I was saying, is not very far from me at all. And, uh, so he, he built this map. It's super cool. It's super cool. Honestly, this map reminds me a lot of where my farm is. Except for my farm, it's a lot flatter. That, you know, from, from the house there, from the house, I was thinking, oh, this is an old corn crib. It is a corn crib. That's corn. That's totally corn. It would have been, like, slats to let it dry. How cool is that? How cool is that? Uh, they do have non-animated pigs. And I believe you guys already saw the, the non-animated cows. But I'm assuming this is where they would have actually had the cows and the pigs. On uh, There's a door there, but we can't open it. Okay. Uh, would have actually had the cows and the pigs on their family farm back in the day. So, or maybe they still do. I don't actually know. But what I can tell you guys is this map is super detailed. It, uh, oh, we can't even go in there. Okay. Uh, it is super detailed. It is, uh, pretty, uh, intense on the old, uh, GPU, which is fine. Uh, no, no worries. Um, is that pig dead? I, it might be dead. It's missing two of its legs, if nothing else. Uh, it's pretty intensive on the old, uh, computer, but that's okay. It is a 4X map, like I was saying. Honestly, I think the map is beautiful. Um, like I was saying, it really reminds me of where I am in real life or where my, my dad grew up on a farm where we still own a couple acres. Um, it reminds me of that. So I really do want to play this map, but it is ultimately up to you guys if I uh, you know make this a series or not. Uh, you guys might be able to tell my frame rate up there is maybe not maintaining 60 all the time. Uh, I am still kind of loading the map, and I haven't been in the map that long. So, I did start it on uh, noob mode, so we do have some equipment sitting around. And this is more so just looking at the homestead, because I'm probably going to play this map. It's if you guys want to see it in a YouTube series or not. So, I might actually just start this up, like, single player, if, if you guys don't want to see it. But I'm assuming you guys are going to say yes. So, I'm going to go ahead and start production. This is episode zero, and uh, episode one will follow. Yeah, later. I don't know how this exactly fits into my schedule on YouTube. Uh, we will figure it out. Since this is a 4X map, you guys can bet your bottom dollar. I will be using course play on here. Um, I don't actually know if it's out yet or if I have a course. I don't know. I need to need to need to get me some course play uh, for a driving truck, if nothing else, or a tractor with a tipper. And um, I will be doing that and probably some high speed videos. But for right now, let's take a look real fast at the actual map um, if you go onto Google and you look at Madison County and it's like right in the center of the map of Madison County and a little bit north this is a train track here north of 1516 right here this is train tracks okay train tracks and then you can look for this north south road here I forget what it's actually called in real life but it has a you know highway number and then in field 86 you can see these weird I think these are waterways I'll have to actually go look uh, some of these fields down here have them as well but I think they're waterways. This was the big tip-off for me, is the way this road curves and then train tracks. That was the big tip-off. If you go to Madison County, central Madison County, go north. You can find this. It's right there. It's actually kind of crazy. 
how detailed this is to real life. This wooded area down here in the bottom right, that's not actually there in real life. But, you know, you need some wooded lands in a, in a farm sim map. Let's just be real. Uh, we do own one plot starting on new mode, which gives us a lot of quote-unquote fields, a lot of land. So I think that's how I'm going to start this. Uh, my economy is uneasy. I'm not looking for the grind. I'm really not looking for the grind. Um, you know, we do start with some crops and storage. And, uh, yeah, no multi-fruit or anything, okay? So, overall, this map, like I was saying, I think is beautiful. I really do. Let's go for a little ride. Let's just go for a quick ride down the road because I want to show you guys how much... It just reminds me of where I live, where you have all these little, maybe used to be farmsteads or still are farmsteads kind of thing. Um, you know, you, you have little clusters of houses. And in my area, you know, like I was saying, because it's it's very flat where I live compared to here at Madison County. Um, you know, so there's going to be more houses here in Madison County, obviously. But in in where I live, you know, you get little clusters of houses up on the high spots, let's say. Okay, so over in Madison County, it must be a little bit different. But uh, what is that? Is that a cemetery? If that's a cemetery, I probably have family buried in that cemetery, if that's what that is. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I have a lot of my mom's family. My mom's dad's family is from Madison County. Okay, I have family ties, a lot of family ties to Madison County. I will actually do some research uh, with my brother because he's he's big into like genealogy and stuff because I'm sure this is a real cemetery in real life, right? I'm wondering if I would actually have any family in this cemetery. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's kind of weird to say that, I know, but I wonder because, I, like I said, I got family from all over Madison County. Um, more so by the river not so much like inland because this is kind of away from the Mississippi River a little bit where, where this map is actually uh, based. But this map is just, it's beautiful, it's highly detailed, and it reminds me of where I live. I'm not going to lie. It really does. I was apparently we own, do we own that cemetery then? I don't know. But this really, oh baby, really does remind me, uh, not so much the silos. Uh, we don't have silos here, but maybe over in Madison County they do. I'm actually kind of wanting to maybe go to Madison County one of these days and just drive around this area and, and maybe make a little video for you guys about, like, the area. I No promises on that one. I'm kind of kind of busy, but, you know, that would be cool to do. I, would, I think it would be cool to go over to Madison County and take the drone up and, you know, actually do some filming. <laughs> that would be really cool. So, oh, uh, the other thing, guys, is if you notice this, uh, I sound different. Hopefully, it sounds better. I'm on my new microphone. I just have to uh, point that out. But other than that, you know, it's all good. Everything's the same. Here's a little, like, feed shop or something, maybe. Cell point, gas. Oh, it looks like you buy your animals here. Okay, this is, looks like where you would get your animals. But, you know, for a, for a, let's be honest, kind of an early Farm Sim 19 map still. Um... This is, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. So, and I'm sure you could buy this plot of land eventually and then like, you know, actually start using the sheds and maybe, maybe you can't buy this plot of land. I don't actually know. Let's look. Yep. You totally buy that. And I like how you buy, you don't buy fields for the most part down here. You buy fields. Um, but you buy like sections, like you buy, when you buy land, you buy land. Okay. And keep in mind, I am playing on noob mode. So there's that, but you know, you, you don't just buy one or two. You buy, I don't know. I just, I like the way, I like the way they've done it. And that's probably at least to a point. I bet you that's how it is in real life. Where it's like, you know, this person owns that, and then another person owns this, and another per you know? I would kind of imagine that's how it's going to be in real life, so. It's pretty awesome if you ask me, guys. I'm not going to lie. I think it's, this map's really cool, and uh, I'm looking forward to making some videos, so. Going to make episode zero today, and maybe one more. And that's probably all, well, actually probably just this episode. I don't have a lot of time today, I kind of procrastinated a lot today slash played Minecraft.
So, uh, what I plan on doing is pushing this video out fairly soonish. And then, well, checking my audio levels and stuff, make sure my microphone's okay. Because I have not done any test recordings with the microphone. Uh, I did talk to people in TeamSpeak, but I didn't do any test records. Um, so, kind of make sure my mic's good in this video. Push this video out fairly soon. And then, ramp up production like next week on it. I will continue the other series at least for a little bit. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a little bored on that map. Just a little bit. You know, it is a base map, and it's it's getting pretty stock, if you know what I mean. So, I, I it'll be good. This, oh my god, this reminds me of home. So, or this reminds me of where I'm from. I shouldn't say home, because I'm here, but this reminds me of where I'm from so much. Because you will see things like this, where it's like, oh, a gravel road. Okay, let's drive down this gravel road. Hey, I bet this is Fred's, like, homestead back here. And then look, boom, here's Fred's homestead. Like, this reminds me of where I live, like, almost a little too much, if that makes sense. Like, this dude nailed the Midwest, okay? He nailed it. He nailed this area. I mean, I know he wasn't going for where I live necessarily. He's going for Madison County, but as far as I'm concerned, he nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Here, let's drive out in the field here just a little bit. So you can see there there are like waterways in these fields. Um, we don't have this where I live because it is basically flat where I live. But uh, I could totally see plowing through some of these. I mean, they're cool. They're realistic. Don't get me wrong. But I could see plowing through. And if I have to do a little landscape to make it flat, I could totally see doing that. But I think we need to get to some farming. I'm going to go ahead and make this a full 30-minute video. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's get to some farming. Let's get back to our farm and, uh, start a little bit of farming. I think that's a good idea. And you know what? We don't even need our truck. So we'll just tab out of that. So we, right now, guys, the equipment that we have, we have a John Deere grain head. We got a, what is that? A horse planter, a John Deere combine, John Deere corn head, John Deere 6R. I've not used this 6R yet. I probably have. That's a good little tractor. Um, there's another tractor in this other building over here. I believe it's a New Holland. New Holland. I can't see the T on that one. What is it? T6. So good little little front end loader tractor. Got some seeds, some fertilizer, some herbicide, fertilizer, that kind of stuff. So I think we need to take a gander at the map and uh, figure out what needs to be done. All our fields need to be plowed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, look at field 20. Oh, my. <laughs> there must be some woods or something that is keeping you from. Okay. All of them have been cultivated. So, really, we need to plow. Okay. That's going to be an issue this early on. Um, Let me just look at our horsepowers. 280. 280. Okay. So do we even own a plow? Or can we just turn plowing off? Maybe we just turn plowing off because that's going to be a real... That's going to be a real pickle right now. 280. <laughs> oh, goodness. I kind of want you know, to go far. But 280, that'll get us like... That one. <laughs> hmm... I mean, we probably have a loan we can take out. Let me just go ahead and do that, because you guys know me and taking loans out. That's like my best friend ever. I'm just saying. Me and taking loans out are just mm, two peas in a pot. Just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe we turn plowing off, though. Because like I was saying before, I'm not really looking for the grind. I'm looking to kind of get through a map in a reasonable amount of time. So that's why I want to play on like easy. So there's that. Oh my God. Let's take the loan out already there, boys. Like, come on now. How much loan can we take out? Good Lord. It's probably because we own a decent sized uh, chunk of land there. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm tired of hearing the clicking. Come on. 1.5 million loan. 1.6. I don't plan on spending all of this, by the way, already. 
Just throwing that out there. Definitely do not plan on spending all of it. Oh my god. I just want to see how much we can take. Like, seriously? This is ridiculous. 2.5. Alright, I'm I'm let's go for three and then I'm done. <laughs> we can always take more out later if we need. Let's go for three mil out. Okay, three mil. That's what we can taste. <laughs> we have money, boys. <laughs> uh, so actually, let's look at tractors. Let's look at big tractors. I did add... I have a few mods turned on. I am going to be looking at putting in a lot of mods into this, this map eventually. Probably going to get the Stevie mod packs. Just because. I know a lot of that's like this in-game stuff. Just diable. Um, I don't want to necessarily buy this this tractor right now because I've not actually tested it, but if I test this in a single player, I will totally pick this bad boy up. I'm just saying. I think, ooh. Ooh, like a light bar up there and ooh, two little light bars and GPS. Little, little antenna. It's not an antenna, I'm well aware. It, I mean, this tractor looks solid, so I would get it on the road. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, you can actually, what? that change what model it is yeah it does doesn't it okay i'd go with the wide one heck yeah boy i don't know that looks really cool this could be a potential later later tractor um i i don't what's the horsepower on it even i don't even know oh, man you can really change that bad boy up can't you i kind of like aggressive tires or not so i don't know i don't know I don't know what I like. I don't know. I don't know what I like, guys. I'm going to do so many different things to it. Oh, boy. Okay, so 400 or 425. So that's still not bad. That's a decent-sized tractor. I kind of like it. I kind of like it with the weights back there, maybe. It's, it's a good-looking tractor. I don't know how it performs. That's why I'm not going to buy it in my single player here. Uh, so if we're going to plow everything, which I'm okay with plowing everything... Uh, so maybe we'll leave that turned on. Uh, I don't really want to go just like straight John Deere like I did in, in the other Let's Play. How much horsepower do I need for that thing? I know you... Oh, that's the wrong thing. I know we can actually get by with less than uh, 420. But let's... Uh, let's go ahead and make this happen right now, guys. We're going to do my typical, my old school. We're going to do the... This is going to be our color pattern the light or the it's actually the john deere green the the line that green just doesn't look good to me green yeah nah i like the john deere green but with the red rims that's going to be our theme this time um so we need like 400 horsepower there about a little more would be great we have hills on this map after all um <laughs> should we go articulate or, yeah should we go articulated first tractor like a T9? I'm thinking T9. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'm thinking T9. Like, off, right out of the gate. Uh, we're going to put the GPS, the guidance mod on. We do, we are running that. So we're going to put that on. We're going to put her on duels. Actually, maybe we just leave her on triple or single, singles with weights. That's what I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking we do that right there. This is totally different for me to do, guys. But uh, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, where does that even spawn? Where is the shop? It's the shop, it's the shop, it's the shop, it's the shop. Where's the shop? I don't know where the shop is, guys. Um, you know what, let's just do this thing. Okay, where are we? We are... Field 90. Oh, we're over here. Okay, that's actually not a bad little commute then. This is our main farm here. So field 90, that's not terrible, actually. That's not terrible. Okay. Turn our beacons on. You can see I am running the guidance mod, GPS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll be using that quite a bit uh, for plowing and such. So keep that in mind. It's a pretty cool mod. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys want, as I add mods to this, I can do a Google Drive. Uh, you know thing you guys got to let me know that in the uh, comments below uh, to be honest I'm looking to start this series 
and I don't want to get so far ahead on recording the series. I think that is the downfall of my other series, honestly, because we can't have the engagement, the interaction. So, you know, maybe I record one video a week in this series and it goes up like a couple days later. And I, before I film the next one, that one's already out kind of thing. So if something happens and I have to miss a week with the series, that's just the way it is. Or actually probably more than one video a week, let's be real. Um, but I'm not going to work ahead as much on this series because I just, I just don't feel like that's good in a way. It's good to not miss days, but it's not good for interaction. So I'm going to try to be a lot more interactive, responding to your comments, questions, concerns, stuff like that in say the next video or the one after. So like I'm going to post it's Friday right now. I'm recording this. I think I'm going to post this video on Sunday and I'm not going to record another one until after that. So that's kind of my thing. Like I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to record so far ahead on the series. Um, you guys know for a long time I have tried to record ahead, which, you know, for scheduling reasons and look at this pattern of these power lines, by the way, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Um, I wonder if that's how they really are. Um, so I think with this series, I'm going to try not to get so far ahead so that we can have the interaction that uh, you guys deserve. So there's that. I will admit, uh, you know, that maybe working as far ahead as I've been working is not always a good thing. So there's that. All right. So let's get this guidance set up. Actually, you know what? Can we hire this? I am going to be hiring workers, using the guidance, all that good stuff. These, I'm going to say it right now. These fields, let's go up to three maybe. <laughs> uh, I thought I had turned course play on, but there's something I probably did wrong. I will be using course play a lot on these crooked, weird, weird shaping fields. Uh, I can guarantee that. Course play will be getting used a lot, guys. <laughs> I can guarantee it. So, because I want to, I want to kind of get a cedar going and other stuff like that too. So, higher. There we go. All right. So we're plowing our first field, guys, because everything needs to be plowed, and we're gonna go ahead and leave it on. We own a ton of ground, actually. These would be our best fields over here, probably to go work. Fourteen would be a good one. We'll work them all. We'll see what's like why there's no field. You know, because if you look in the X menu, we own all that land, so. We'll have to see. Uh, so that's one tractor. Let's get our John Deere. John Deere Green. I want to go Disney. I think that's the song. I don't know the words. I swear. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. How do I sound on the new microphone, though? Sing. I really hope you guys like the new microphone. I know sometimes when YouTubers get new mics, it's everybody's like, ah, what are you doing? That's terrible. But uh, I'm hoping you guys like it. I'm just saying, oh my God, is this all trees over here? Is that why I, Is that why Matt was telling me I need a brush stripper? I do owe a shout out, by the way, uh, to the Grain Arcade on YouTube. Uh, he's my buddy, Matt. He hangs out in teams. We call the time with us and stuff. But um, he was playing this map, and actually that's where I saw this map. So... Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Stole your map. <laughs> okay, so that's a, oh, the road with the call. That's so cool. Okay, so yeah, that's like all trees. I wonder if we could plow this out. I bet we could. I bet we can make ourselves a big old field out here if we wanted to. Oh, Brooks Chipper. Yep. Because <laughs> these are all crooked, too. So you're not going to log these, per se. So we could brush chip all those. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, that's our field boundary, apparently. <laughs> but still, you could throw, like, 14. You could throw that in with 14. And that'd make a pretty decent field, so... Yeah, because these fields here, you could plow them together, but you're going to have to landscape them first. I kind of like them separated, though. kind of like this, guys. I kind of like this. So what do we even have planter-wise? I'm not even sure. I should probably go back to the shed and look. 
Oh, that spot there. Okay. I could see logging. Oh my gosh. Our brush chipping all that out too. We're gonna Yeah. Matt was warning me. He said Brux Chipper and he was not lying. Is up there? Oh my god, all that's ours too. We own so many trees. We own so many trees, guys. That's like farmable land too. Especially with a little landscaping, maybe. Yield 16 is so crooked up there. We gotta go see that real fast. We gotta go. 21's no better though. 21's probably the worst one. Yeah, you could farm this, but you'd want to escape it down a little bit, maybe. I don't know if you could actually. Oh, we're right next to the train tracks. Okay. This is awesome. I think this honestly could make a very good multiplayer map. Um, because of the crooked fields and not hiring workers and stuff. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Wow. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how much we're going to farm some of these fields. Yeah, I don't know how much we're going to farm some of these. Until we have money to do serious amounts of landscaping. Because you could slope all this down into the woods here and be fine. Like, all the way down to the ditch down there. Yeah, you could totally do that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We can make a lot of farmland out of some of these uh, wooded areas, but... Boy, Brux chipping for hours, probably. Probably for hours. <laughs> so, I mean, don't get me wrong. That's okay. It's part of the game. But holy cow. Actually, it's not part of the game. It's a mod. But you know you know what I mean, right? It won't out the other side. Power of the John Deere. I do like all the drainage everywhere. I'm not going to lie. Now, only if when it would rain... Your ditches would like fill up. That would be super cool. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This, this, this map's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. I'm not going to lie. This one's going to be different. Um, okay, we need to turn that off. I am not going to lime, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, weeds. You know what? Let's turn weeds off as well for now. Lime is definitely going to go off. Definitely, definitely going to go off. Withering's off. Crop destruction on, of course. That's how I always play. Economy's on easy. I think we're good. So, yeah, anything that gets plowed, though, is going to need to be limed. Otherwise, it's going to show that the whole time. Oh, goodness. So, we're going to have to lime anything that we're plowing. Right? Yeah, unfortunately, I think. Well, maybe not, though, because that's just... Re oh, yeah, it's, it's updating. Okay. So where do we buy the lime at? Where do we buy lime? Is there a lime... Lime station in around? See, some of these areas aren't mapped, though. Oh, where do we buy lime? Lime up north. Okay. Okay. And actually, you know what? I should go trade this out right now. We do own a plow. We do own a plow. I should go trade this out right now. Or bring a lime tender in, maybe. <laughs> Something. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be a while. This is, this is going to be different work for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm used to the big, open, square fields kind of thing. And this map's not not that at all. I'm just saying, this map is definitely different, guys. But that's not bad. In fact, it's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. So, there's that. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. So we've got mods. A <laughs> little bit. We've got a little bit of modage here. We've got this seed tank tender thing but it's been modded it holds 50,000 liters and it holds everything so you know you know what your boy's about to do okay actually I kind of like the red the red but I want like those to be green then I kind of like that very Christmassy very Christmassy all right so we're gonna have to go that thing's really heavy though 
That thing's obnoxiously heavy when you get it full. That's okay. Uh, tell you what we're going to do, guys. I'm actually going to call this a video here, and the only thing that I think I'm actually going to do between now and the next video is plow. I'm going to fire up the, G uh, the GPS, and uh, I'm going to be doing some plowing. Try to get at least some of our fields knocked down so we can, you know, maybe seed and lime and fertilize and all that stuff next time. That's kind of what I'm thinking anyway, because, you know, why not? We are going to have to plow everything that we own. Probably after, say, oh my goodness, after three, I think I'm going to try to head down to some of these little bit square, more rectangle-y fields down here. Because that's going to be better, in my opinion, until we get course play working. Uh, once we get course play working, like, assuming it's working, I don't even know if a, a functional version of course plays out yet. But uh, if we get course play working, then this will be no big deal. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. Remember, guys, let me know what you think of the map. Let me know what you think of a series. Let me know what you think of the microphone. And let me know what you think of um, not recording ahead. So if I miss uploading one of these, that's just the way it is. You know, I want to have the engagement back. I want to be you know, reading comments again. It's It's been a while since I've actually been engaged with the comments. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I would like to get back to uh, being engaged with you guys um, here on Twitch. Or here on YouTube as well as over on Twitch, of course. But uh, let me know all the stuff, guys. Leave some comments below. I will, uh, I will be diving through the comments uh, like Sunday night or something. Or Monday or whatever. And um, I won't record the next video until after uh, this one's posted. So, until then, I'm your boy, John from Poomfly. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching and uh, leaving all those comments and stuff. Thank you, guys. And I will catch you back here. Okay, worker, you just need to stop. Uh, I will catch you guys back here in the next one. Until then, I'm your boy, John from Poomfly. Thanks for watching. Have a great yesterday, and as always, toodles.